Glamorgan hunting victory after Byron 144. After two days of play at Sophia Gardens, it's honours even between Glamorgan and Nottinghamshire. The visitors bowled out 33 runs shy of parity, and the hosts lead up to 86 at the end of the second day of play. The game was ripe for someone to take control. And from the early exchanges, it looked like Eddie Byron would be that man, leading a bit of a charge as he accelerated rapidly to his 50, scored off 86 balls, and reached when he reversed Patterson White for his ninth four. Glamorgan's lead now over 100. The score followed, and Glamorgan found their feet and the accelerator as Lloyd joined Byram on 50. Knots were a little taken aback by the intent on show from the hosts. Byram the aggressor with boundary after boundary to stroll past 150, and he was starting to think about 100 of his own. With a single off Everson, Byram moved to the century, scored off 154 balls. Glamorgan's lead was now over 200. Lunch was taken soon after, the score 172 for one, Glamorgan now in a strong position. Knotts finally had the breakthrough they wanted not long after the resumption. The captain, David Lloyd, out for 60, caught by Montgomery off the bowling of Brett Hutton. But it was almost a case of out of the frying pan and into the fire as Colin Ingram joined Byram in the middle. A destructive partnership reunited and swiftly bludgeoned its way to a 50 partnership off just 53 balls. This was starting to look much trickier for Knotts now. With the score on the cusp of 250 and the lead heading for 300, Ingram departed, outcaught by Clark of the bowling of Patterson White, who then claimed the wicket of Eddie Byram early on the sweep and out LBW for an eye catching 144. A bit of momentum for Knotts now, Carlson out cheaply, caught behind for two off the bowling of Mullaney, but Root and Northeast shut them down, pushing the score on, and the lead started to look imposing under their watch. It was up to 335 when the pair headed in for tea, Knotts on the back foot. Northeast whipped Patterson White off his legs after the break to move to 50 off 96 balls. Durham needed a wicket, and fast, but it wasn't forthcoming. The partnership was soon worth 100, and the lead up to 400 as they approached the final hour of the day. And not struggle to haul them back in. Root the next man to go to 50, lifting a tame single off Fletcher into the leg side as Glamorgan turned the screw. With another single off Fletcher, Northeast went to his 100, up to the mark of 133 balls, a potential match-winning innings from the former Hampshire man. Root fell to the following ball, the delivery far from Fletcher's best, one of a tired and frustrated bowler, but Root's shot matched it in quality. Clark underneath it with the gloves. Lloyd declared with the score 420 for 5, the lead an incredibly imposing 455 built on the hard yards of Byram's 144 and Northeast's unbeaten 105. And it got worse for Knotts. Hamid out for one in the second over, bowled by Hogan. Slater and Montgomery clung on through to the close, finishing the day on 19 for 1. They need another 436 runs for what looks an unlikely win. Conventional wisdom suggests that they'll look to bat out the day to at least take something from this game, but in the era of Basball, no chase is out of the question.